All right, it's the first week of the month. Time for our plus dive for October 2017. And this one's jam-packed. I'm going to start out by reminding you guys that Riggs is actually still available as a PS Plus freebie until the end of this month. Going on to the new stuff, we have the Amnesia Collection, which is actually three separate games. Uh, the Dark Descent, Justine, and A Machine for Pigs. The Dark Descent is very much going through a uh, castle, I guess, that's supposed to be really creepy. But to be perfectly honest, I didn't really get a hook or any real fright from this in the bit I played. It's supposed to play on your senses and deteriorate your sanity like it, Eternal Darkness on the GameCube, but I didn't get quite as much of a thrill out of it. Next up is Justine, which takes a little bit of a different tack. It seems to be placed in the same castle setting, but after a brief introduction played by Gramophone, which I thought was kind of cool. You are let loose, and one of the first things you find is this dungeon. But uh, one thing that Justine adds is a one-kill permadeath. My initial playthrough of Justine lasted about three and a half minutes. Lastly, we have a Machine for Pigs, which I was disappointed that it didn't make my PS4 Pro generate bacon. It's a lot more graphically pleasing. It's a lot more interesting. It takes place in a mansion in the 19th or so century. So a lot more to look at. Uh, fantastic graphics. And a bit more interactivity and puzzle solving right off the bat. This one did actually start with the creepy a little bit faster. Of course, you know, giggling children and skipping outside of the corner of your view are you know, pretty much slam dunks, especially when you're crawling through the walls of a an old mansion. All three games of the Amnesia Collection are, of course, available for free this month. Next up we have the legendary Metal Gear Solid V Tactical Crawling Simulator. This first bit very much is indicative of how this game works. For the first hour of it, you're going to be crawling through it. And lest you forget who is responsible for this, Kojima will not let you forget. After an interesting escape from that hospital, you boat your way over through the Suez Canal over to Afghanistan, where the game proper really starts to begin. If you've ever played a Metal Gear Solid game before, it's pretty similar. You need to... Don't leave bodies out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. That too. You need to be stealthy, you need to take care of everything that comes across your path, and you need to download this for free this month. Moving along to our PS Vita and PS4 cross buys, we're starting off with Hue, which has a great aesthetic and I love the ambient music to it but I am also a huge fan of light based puzzle games and this really does kind of fit the bill you collect different colors as you go along and by changing the background you make that color basically invisible and therefore it does not exist for progressing through your puzzles uh, you start out with cyan, magenta, and orange, and uh, have to go through and collect all the colors. He 
you is available on the PS4 and PS Vita this month with your PS Plus subscription. Covering all three consoles is Skyforce Anniversary, which kind of floored me. What you're seeing is pretty much what, what happens as soon as you boot the game and let it load in. It shows you the title screen. And then puts you right into the action. I thought that was a great intro. Personally, I love my top-down scrolling shooter games, so this was quite a treat. I had fun with this one. Skyforce is available for the PS3, PS4, and PS Vita this month with your PS Plus subscription. Next up, moving on to the PS3, we have Hustle Kings, which is actually free to play on the PS4, but uh, hasn't been on the PS3. Uh, one of the game modes is a uh, kind of like a puzzle, almost, where they have daily challenges that uh, make you pocket the balls in a specific order, only hitting specific balls. There are also uh, online tournaments that you can take part in, or you can just play one-on-one -on -one with the AI. On the PS3 version, it does support the PlayStation Move motion controllers, so you can line up your shot and take your shot using motion gameplay. Hustle Kings is available for free on the PS3 and I guess on the PS4 also with your PS Plus subscription. Next up we have Monster Jam Battlegrounds for the PS3. The main gameplay mode is kind of like Trials Fusion, where you're just kind of trying to make your way through a uh, two and a half D area, maybe make some stunts. It didn't really thrill me all that much, and partially because of the controls, I couldn't really figure out how to like angle forward or back. But uh, the next mode is a, kind of a stadium race. You just do a short run three times and you win. And the last mode is basically like a ski jump type of deal where you just have to get as far as you can. It wasn't that fun. It was interesting. Nowhere near as bad as Hardball last month. But, uh might be worth a, a couple of kicks. Monster Jam Battlegrounds available for free on the PS3 this month with your PS Plus subscription. That's it for all the games, but I do have one more thing to tell you guys about. October is the first anniversary of the release of the PlayStation VR, so I'm going to be focusing all of my features on that product this month. Additionally, I am going to be giving away a code for Thumper for the PlayStation VR. So what you need to do is follow me on Twitter at Tesseract Unfold, retweet each of the three videos, uh, Plus Dive, First Trophy, and Wayback this month. And then before the OS Treats video, I will be choosing a winner for the code, and I will announce it during my OS Treats video. So keep an eye out for that, and good luck! Thanks for watching this month. Click the icon to the right to subscribe to my channel. Click one of the other links to watch some more videos, and I will see you next week with some more features.